New York. Today, five members go in, three will be drivers, two that have brought the fans and the drivers the story of what happened during those eras, and we got five of the biggest names in New York State that will be inducted today. We're going to start it off with two gentlemen that brought the racing via the airwaves, via the PA system, and started in an era when, well, they didn't have wireless microphones. They did an interview with a track radio. They, a lot of the notes were by paper. There was nothing, no computer-generated lineups. These two guys did it, and they did it old school. They did it their way. They also painted a picture for the race fans that would leave memories for years to come. The first of which is going to be posthumously inducted today, and that is a voice that many people will, will think of when they think of the Moody Mile. I look outside with the rain, the cool temperature, I'm thinking the Moody Mile too. Unfortunately, to induct our first inductee, his son was to, to be here. I just got off the phone with him. He sent me a text this morning. Um, unfortunately, he fell, and he's got a problem with the shoulder right now. He's going through some PT, and uh, he is uh, very sorry he couldn't be with us, but I'm going to call on Joe Murata to help me out with this. But our first inductee to the Niska Hall of Fame for the class of 2024 is Jack Burgess. Jack, like I said, much known for the voice of Super Dirt Week in Syracuse. Jack held down the fort there for many years, but he left, uh, he left memories at many speedways all across New York State. He was a regular at Albany Saratoga Speedway, a place where now I call home on Friday night. And when you think about that, how many years ago that was, and it was during the NASCAR era on the pavement that many people talk about as such a special time that was at Albany, Saratoga, when we had all the best from New England, all the best from Central and Western New York, and all the best come up from Long Island. Along with drivers from out of state, it was certainly the place to be on Friday night, and Jack Bird just painted the picture there each and every Friday. He would go on to when dirt started, when Glenn Donnelly started the Dirt Foundation, and Joe is, uh, is much the, the same part. Joe worked alongside with Jack for so many of those years. That's why I've asked him to come up here and add in on this. And just to think about what Jack Burgess brought to our sport at our level, it's really amazing and uh, certainly deserving of entering the NISCA Hall of Fame. Jack Burgess. Joe. Look at this. I'm going to take this down because uh, that's what we do. I, I, I've got to ask for some of your memories. I know you can probably go on with some stories. Jack and you were much more than partners. You were very good friends. I just got off the phone with his son, Chris, and he said, nobody knew my dad better than, Jack Bur than Joe Murata. Uh, Jack Burgess um, had a way about him, the booming voice, uh, the knowledge. He had a way. Of, uh, I, I still think he's given more nicknames to drivers than anybody ever will. But um, I'll just let you reflect a little bit about your good friend, Jack Burgess. Well, I used to go to the New York State Fairgrounds when I was a little kid. The two people that I remember the most down there was a guy by the name of Chrissy Conamacki and then by a, a guy by the name of Jack Burgess. And uh, Jack really etched memory into me as time went on. Um, I always remember the way he announced, his style of announcing, and his dedication to the sport. I never heard him say a bad word about anyone. He always had a great name for people and always could elaborate on their history and uh, how well they did. And uh, some of the things that uh, Jack and I uh, always remember, I'm working with Jack over the years, one of the things, it was like a teacher, like a professor working next to me. But one of the things he would never scold you or never uh, say anything bad about you while you were on the mic, but sometimes at the end of the conference or the end of the announcements, he'd say, hey, little Joe, if I was going to say it again, I would say it this way. And uh, I'd say, okay, Jack, I would take that to heart. And uh, one of the things, and I was going to finish my, uh, and I probably still will, 
uh, my speech with, one of the things I remember the most about Jack, uh, and I say it at every race, every feature race that I do uh, today, is as my good friend Jack Burgess always said, you've got to have a favorite out there. That's how I remember Jack. Thank you, Joe. And certainly uh, there are some great memories of Jack Burgess. So uh, we will present the plaque. Uh, Joe's going to get the plaque back to Oswego where uh, Chris Burgess is uh, a photographer there. So we'll get it back uh, there. We're going to send him down this way for photographs. It's at exit stage left. <laughs> Actually, Joe made mention of going around to me. That's a long way around sometimes. And uh, while we're getting the pho photographs, I want to thank Mark Brown from Custom Keepsakes for uh, getting this, uh, the photographs. Also, Northeast Racing Video, Jim Lejeau is uh, on hand. I want to thank Big Jim uh, for donating his time to put this on video. It'll be available uh, to anybody who wants to get it uh, at a later date. <laughs> 